welcome to the TWI Summit in Savannah. Thank you. Thank you for joining us here. Yes. So we just got a couple of quick questions for you. I'm just interested in your thoughts, particularly about TWI. So firstly, we've had a lot of discussions over the last sort of six months about TWI and being the skills being integral in your organisation. Can you tell me a bit about that and why you think this they're so important? Sure. Well, so for our organisation, people are really uh, developing people is really the core of our organisation. So while we're a manufacturer and we machine, we test, we assemble, we ship. Uh, compression fittings for the natural gas industry. Our business is really about developing people. Yeah. People to be uh, scientific thinkers, people who can solve problems um, using PDCA basically. So where to, uh, the TWI programs fit in is that they provide the foundations for people to be able to really work and lead the lean way. So, mm -hmm. Thank you. So now I know I'm pretty sure you started with job relations. Or did you start with job instruction? The first training that we used was really for job relations. We had sort of dabbled in job instruction, giving yeah. people some training, but not like a full 10 hour course. Because that's where people normally start. Yeah. So I'm interested to know what turned you towards job relations, really, once you got going. What turned you in the direction of job relations? Sure. Well, I came to the TWI <coughs> Summit last year for the first time. Oh, okay. And the, what I was really trying to figure out is what I needed to think about in order to do job instruction training. Ah, okay. And I left with job relations training. So um, some of the problems that we were trying to solve at the time that came out of our reflection from our last kata challenge was a big one was trust and transparency okay so a valuable uh, a valuable thing a valuable thing to have in any organization exactly and it's valuable to learn that people really think that's where you need to focus and these were our team members our shop floor team members were like we don't oh. have enough trust we don't have enough transparency oh, really? that's what we want to see from you as the leaders so as management could you recognize that at the time were you aware of that or did that you come, know you're aware or was that of a bit a of a shock bit, but i think i think the things that i thought people would care about more you know yeah that's always there. I mean, it was, yes. um, but it was sort of in my mind. It wasn't yeah, like, yeah. oh, this is like really the thing that okay. people are seeing. So we also had installed a new leadership team um, on our uh, in operations at the time. Right. And so they were a brand new team. Okay. So I re recognizing that we still had. Um, trust and transparency issues, yes. wanted to be able to give them the skills to lead. Yep. Um, and so seeing Sam Wagner from Global Fast, his company's presentation on turning grumblers into rowers. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> And, um, He's been through all that by, uh, for sure. Yeah. Sam's a, a, a rich source of knowledge in that. Exactly. And uh, seeing what their transformation was. And uh, he had a supervisor, I think, who hadn't been trained, who was like the big JR yeah, cheerleader yeah. of the time. Just really seeing and talking to him about how important it was to him. And uh, then taking your simulation and talking to you. And you would really um, emphasize JR's really... Uh, the place that you believe people should start, it seemed to fit Not everyone, but needed. most. But a lot of people, yeah. A lot of people. And again, having trust and transparency issues, that became sort of the focus. And so we went back, I went back and we trained our entire company, and we're like 30, 40 people. At a, well, 30 to 50 people. I think at the time we were about 35. Yes. Um, we trained the entire company um, on job relations so that people would have that same foundational base good, good stuff. Um, g gave our gave the leadership team we had in operations the skills of leading in the lean way and yep. gave other people a foundation to understand how to work in the lean way it ties in with Dave Hyam's comment that I've quoted or quote several times in this summit and previously that if people don't trust your intent it's very difficult to make progress right. in, in anything